good day in the neighborhood. Hello, my name is Sir Dr. James Dentley III, and I'm very honored to talk to you about an event and an organization that I'm so proud and honored to be a part of, and that's the Great House of Cappadocia of Constantine the Great and St. Helen. You know, a little bit over a year ago, I had the honor of being knighted into this royal house, and it's just not any royal house. This house began in 324 AD when Constantine the Great, the ruler of, of Rome, the emperor of Rome, uh, decided to make Christianity the religion of the country. And before that, Christians were being persecuted. He took half of the country and someone else took the other half and agreed that they would stop persecuting Christians, but the other co-emperor decided he wanted to resume. They wanted to enslave people. They wanted more labor. So they abused the Christians, and uh, so he went to war with them and won that war. But that's how Christianity became the religion of Rome. And at that time, they actually uh, owned England. England was not what it is today at 324 AD. So to be a knight in this royal order and to be knighted by Prince Raphael, who was a blood descendant of Constantine the Great, is a great honor. I take it very, very seriously, and our knights code very, very seriously, to defend the weak, to, to slay the wicked. You know, to, to be of help and service to other people, to operate with integrity and honesty. Those are just some of the core values of the Royal Order and the Knights Code. And I'm here to tell you about this because on June 10th, 2023, we are having a Royal Meet and Greet at the downtown Gold Coast, Rolls Royce and Bentley dealership at 834 North Rush Street. We have a few tickets remaining. Everything is for charity and nonprofit. We're going to have a phenomenal time. And we want you to come out. If you're ready for it, if you're ready to have the heart and spirit of giving, we're going to have a lot of our city's most active philanthropists there. We're going to have some politicians there. We'll have some entertainers and athletes there. But we're going to have the Royal House, Prince Raphael and Duke Gerhardt and Duchess Nancy and all the nobles will be there. You'll meet knights and dames there business leaders and people who own businesses and organizations that they run to help make the world better for entrepreneurs and for every human being and to really create a platform for our children that we can leave that legacy. So when you come out there, we first of all, we have valet parking. Please just give them a tip. You're fine. We have security. You have to worry about that. It's in the heart of downtown and in the heartbeat of the Gold Coast, uh, right down the street from the Magnificent Mile where all the high-level shopping takes place. Then we have the red carpet step and repeat. And you're going to see some of our incredible sponsors. We have the champagne sponsor. So you walk in and you'll enjoy a nice glass of champagne. If you don't drink, we have a full open bar. Not a cash bar, so open bar. So drink responsibly. And uh, you can also enjoy a non-alcoholic beverage there as well. Uh, we're going to have food. Uh, catering by David. We have a lot of food there. We have a tequila sponsor by uh, Nick Patel, who owns uh, LA 10. And a line of hair care products and also a line of tequila so he'll be there with that uh, and we're gonna have live entertainment we're gonna have a good time we're gonna collaborate we're gonna communicate we're gonna network have fun laugh dance and enjoy a beautiful jazz band by the sax preacher and his band followed by Sandy Red so all this is gonna take place on Saturday from 530 to 1030 please register or you will not be allowed in um, you know there will be plenty of security out there so don't make sure that you're registered to come and we'll give you the link uh, within the body of this video. We're going to have dinner, the procession, and all the royal nobles will come down and, and be seated, and we'll enjoy a great dinner. And then the games will begin. You know, we're going to be elevating people to Baron, to Grand Prior General. We have three other Grand Priors joining us um, in the state of Arizona, Texas, and Florida. And because uh, right now I'm the only Grand Prior in the United States. And uh, it's such an honor, but I'd be glad to bring in the help. And we want a grand prior in every single state. That's more like a governorship to help us to build out the Monarchical Chapter. Now, the Monarchical Chapter is a way that you can be a part of the Royal House and, and be supportive in what we do and be involved in the different projects we do. And we can be involved in helping you and supporting you as well. And the Monarchical Chapter is where you go, first of all, to learn a little bit more about the House of Cappadocia, Constantine the Great and St. Helen, and for us to know a little bit more about you as well. 
And it doesn't say you're going to be knighted, but it is the first step to becoming knighted. And to become knighted, uh, we like to look at it right under a Nobel Peace Prize. That's the way we, we, we qualify people. There's a secret committee that uh, after your person is nominated by a existing knight or dame, you can't buy it. You can't advocate for it. Um, please don't ask someone to help you get it. You know, let someone recognize your work and bring it to you. Today we live in a world where so many people are getting so much honor and there's nothing wrong with that. David said, by all means, give honor where honor is due. But when people ask for the award, I think it takes it away a little bit. You know, you should be known by your works because I never try to help anybody so I can get um, attention from it or, you know, the PR is always great, but you don't do it for that attention, you know? Do the good work. Enjoy the monarchical chapter. We'll see the work. We'll see who you are. The, the Royal House, had, they do a background check, of course, and it goes through three or four steps before there's approval to be a knight or a dame. But our goal is to literally build out the United States because in the United States, we don't, we're not raised with royalty. We're raised in a very uh, democratic society. And, um, you know, but to have that when you leave this country is a big honor. It means a lot for you. And as well as to really acknowledge and celebrate people who've done extraordinary achievement. There are eight categories in which you can be knighted. Everything from philanthropy to business to the arts uh, to medicine. It can be military service. Uh, it can be a fire person that, you know, saved lives or a police officer that did the same or uh, someone that's been in the military that's done some phenomenal things in the military. We have a nurse. Uh, she's on about four different buildings for her work of just service. She doesn't have a lot of money, but she's serving with everything she has and been recognized again for her good work. So if you want success, celebrate all success. If you want to make a difference, celebrate all the do. Stay close to the people who are really out there doing it, laying their lives and their hearts on the, on the line. That's really how you get it done, man, because your association breeds assimilation as well. So we're honored to have Prince Raphael and Duke Gerhardt and uh, Duke Mike can't make it, but uh, Nan Duchess Nancy and uh, the new barons, of which I will be one, you know, to the royal order. And we look forward to welcoming you and each and every one of you getting the chance to know you. And let's find ways we can work together to help make the world just a little bit better. Yeah. Today is the day when you can decide to live your best life starting right here and right now. Even if yesterday was great, today can be even greater. All you have to do is just make a decision and just do it.